Eighth question is from electrostatic. It is the question of capacitor in which some part is filled by dielectric slab. See, this is a parallel plate capacitor in which some upper part is filled by a dielectric whose dielectric constraint is K and in remaining part there is air. In remaining part there is air. Uh, for dielectric part the plate area is A by 3 and so for remaining air part the plate area would be 2A by 3. See, in the question it is given that for dielectric part the capacitance is C1 and total capacitance is C2. Let us assume that for air the capacitance is C2. Uh, for to uh, the total capacitance is C. So, we can write because both part in parallel. So, we can write C equal to C1 plus C2. This is the first step. Uh, all of you know uh, this part in parallel. So, we can write C equal to C1 plus C2. Now, what would be C1? C1 is uh, C1 is K epsilon naught A upon 3D and C2 is 2 epsilon naught A upon 3D. As we know the formula of capacitance, so by the formula of capacitance C, C1 is this and C2 is this. C. Now, again, as both part in parallel, so potential difference would be same. At both part in parallel, potential difference would be same. And if potential difference is same, and as separation is also same, and we know E equal to V upon D, so in both part, electric field intensity would be same. And we can write E1 is equal to E2. And the ratio of E1 and E2 comes to be 1. So, first part is correct. Answer A is Correct. In part B, uh, it is given that E1 upon E2 equal to 1 upon K, which is wrong. Well, now uh, what would be C? C would be C1 plus C2 and it comes to be K epsilon naught A upon 3D plus 2 epsilon naught A upon 3D. After solving this, we will get epsilon naught A upon 3D into k plus 2. Well, now what is the ratio c upon c1? c upon c1 comes to be, um, this upon this comes to be k plus 2 upon k. So, we can say d option is also correct. Now, we have to find c option. Uh, basically, we have to find the ratio of uh, Q1 and Q2. Q1 is charge in this part and Q2 is charge in this part. Q1, this part charge and Q2, this part charge. As we know, Q equal to Cv. Q equal to Cv. So, we can say Q1 equal to C1V and Q2 equal to C2V. Q1 is C1V and Q2 is C2V. So, Q1 upon Q2 comes to be C1 upon C2. And as we know, C1 is this and C2 is this. When we divide these equations, we will get, we will get K by 2. But in the answer, it is given that 3 by K. So, it is incorrect. C option is incorrect. And correct answer would be A and D. Nine question is from optics. Uh, it is the question of refraction. Refraction at curved surface. There is a slab, glass slab, in which there is a thin film like this. This is the thin film. Uh, the refractive index of glass slab is N2 and N2 is given 1.5. The refractive index of thin film is N1 and N1 is 1.4. There are two parts in the question. In first part, he is saying that uh, the light is coming from air and is going into glass. See, when light is coming from air, there would be first refraction at this point 
and there would be first image at this point i1 uh, really which uh, does not form at this surface there would be second refraction and uh, ray comes at this point uh, which is f1 uh, we have to find basically this distance f1 we have to find this f1 where we know the formula n2 upon v minus n1 upon u is equal to n2 minus n1 upon r when we apply this formula at both surfaces and uh, we add the equations we will get 1.5 upon f1 is equal to 1.4 minus 1 upon r plus 1.5 minus 1.4 upon r this is the equation for this case when we solve the equation we will get mod of f1 equal to 3r this is the f1 in second part what he is saying in second part he is saying that the ray is coming from glass to air this is n2 this is n1 so ray is coming from glass to air when ray is coming from glass there would be first refraction and ray is deviated so first image is formed somewhere at this point i1 and at this point there would be second refraction and ray finally meets at this point f2 now we have to find this distance f2 again we will use the same formula to find the f2 and equation comes to be 1 upon f2 is equal to 1 minus 1.4 upon minus r plus 1.4 minus 1.5 upon minus r when we solve this equation we will get f2 equal to twice of r now we can see the correct answer would be uh, a and c